welcome in happy sunday i hope you're having a great day we are back here on my new island of honeydew and we got the campsite up as you can see and our very first campsite villager is waiting inside waiting to be revealed and then we're gonna go get the last four villagers after this and basically by the end of this stream i want to have all 10 villagers on my island so that we can keep moving towards three stars and we can start decorating because i have finally decided on what island theme i want this island to be so yeah stick around we got a lot of exciting stuff to talk about today and I just, yeah, who's ready to see the campsite villager? Um, I think that they have to be a specific personality, but I forgot. I think maybe it's the sisterly or smug villagers. So <laughs> uh, definitely put your guesses in the chat who you think our first campsite villager is. I have no idea. I haven't checked, by the way. So I have no idea who's in there. I'm really nervous. And also, uh, thank you to, um, let me see, Dolly, Dolita Lolita. Thank you for becoming a member before the stream. If you're here, thank you. Um, we are 7 out of 10, 70% of the way to our monthly membership goal. So if you want to help out, you can press the join button below. That would be awesome. Okay, so it has to be a smug villager. How awesome would it be if Raymond was in here? Because... Um, if you don't know, we're embracing the Animal Crossing nostalgia with this island, so really I'm looking for any nostalgic like 2020 popular villagers for my island and Raymond would be perfect. Right now we have Sherb, we have Audie, and Pico who we got um, during the last stream on Thursday, so that was awesome. And then we have our starter villagers Rod and Cat, which part of me wants to let them stay on my island permanently because there are starter villagers. I feel like that is just embracing the 2020 nostalgic Animal Crossing core. Like, how cute would it be if we kept our starter villagers? I never keep my starter villagers. <laughs> Raymond would be crazy. Yeah, like, I doubt that Raymond is actually in the campsite, but <laughs> it doesn't hurt to hope. It doesn't hurt to hope. The way it was four years ago is crazy, I know. This game was released exactly four years ago on this upcoming Wednesday is the fourth anniversary, so that's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. All right, we need some hype in the chat before we check the um, campsite. So just send some emojis, send some hype, send your guesses, your final guesses on who the villager will be. What is the exact theme? Do you know yet? Yes, I do. And I'll be telling you after we reveal who the campsite villager is. <laughs> Marshall, that would be awesome. Is Marshall a smug villager? Because I did not know that. Hello, Kira. Thanks for coming. Yes, happy St. Patrick's Day. I don't really know the history behind St. Patrick's Day. I think it's an Irish holiday. So if you celebrate, happy St. Patty's Day. Lopez? Lopez would be cool. Lopez would be cool. Sorry about the echo, I just turned it off. <laughs> Raymond? Okay, alright, let's 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 go see. Let's do the reveal. Let's see who Honeydew's first campsite villager is. Hello, Shayna, welcome in. <gasps> Guys, it's Henry! I love Henry! Stop! Oh my gosh. Guys, this is literally perfect because my very first island on YouTube back in 2020, Henry was on my island. <laughs> so this is literally so nostalgic. I love Henry! My cat's name is also Henry, so... <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so cute! I'm hyped for Henry, okay? I'll, I'll give Henry a Blathers and Celeste dance emote because... Henry's a win. Henry is a win. <laughs> yes! Yes, not Raymond, but we do love Henry. <laughs> you should live here, Henry, please! 
Froggy could never. This would be like Froggy's most lucky campsite villager find. All right, let's go check with Tom Nook so that we can get Henry on the island. How cute! And he's perfect for the island theme that I'm planning as well. Like he fits the color scheme. It's amazing. It's amazing. He is a cutie patootie. Hello, Annabella. Thank you so much. All right, let's go talk to Tom Nook. Also, since the last stream, you haven't missed much. I just placed this bridge um, and then we placed the campsite. Other than that, we haven't really done anything since um, the last time I streamed. So don't worry, you haven't missed much. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad it wasn't Chops. I love Henry. He's so cute. Also giving summery honeydew vibes. I know. Like, when you look at Henry, he he looks like he would belong on an island called Honeydew. <laughs> Froggy would probably use a thousand tickets for him. Didn't Raven just use, like, so many tickets looking for <laughs> Lily? I think that she finally found her. I did it, Tom. We have a campsite. All right. Now we have to find a place for Henry's house, and then I think that we'll be able to start placing down the rest of the plots. All right, let's do it. Is it in my inventory? Yep. Let's go. He's honeydew coated. Exactly. Oh, Lisa. I... I would not have that patience. I time travel so much. Let's just go put Henry's house somewhere on the beach. I feel like that's the best place. Oh my gosh, my island is so messy and cluttered. Look at all these fences. It's so hard to get around. Will a house fit right here or is this like too... Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. And it's already sold to Henry. How freaking wholesome. What a great first campsite villager. I'm seriously just, I'm not over it. I'm not over how perfect that was. Now let's go talk to Tom again. Let him know that we placed down Henry's house and see if we can keep, keep progressing. This island is going by so fast. I just started this island exactly one week ago. I just, I can't believe it. All right. Yes, yes. We'll set aside plots in advance and put them up for sale. Okay. Of course I have to pay for it. I have to pay for everything on this island. <laughs> um, so let's see if we can start buying plots right now. Yep. Perfect. Let's do it. This is streamer luck? <laughs> Maybe it is. Alright. So, if I'm correct, I think we can just place this plot down and then we can start villager hunting. I always like to put my plots on the beach because I just know that I'm going to move the houses later on. So yeah, we're just we're going to place this one on the beach as well. This one can go right here. I just got to move all this mermaid furniture. Tom Nook literally is probably so wealthy. <laughs> I give all of my money to him. I don't- I didn't mean to imagine it, but okay. <laughs> so nostalgic, I know. The nostalgic Animal Crossing vibes are just- they're the best. Nothing can compete. Okay, so I think we're good to start finding some villagers. So let's go over to my storage and get some Nook Mile uh, tickets. And we can also put away all of this mermaid furniture. Oh no, my storage is full. Oh my, my island's such a mess. There's things everywhere. That's, I just, I can't. 
All right, let's get the Nook Miles tickets out first. I came prepared. I have so many tickets. We're gonna start out with 100 and we'll see how how we do. <laughs> we'll see if we can find any nostalgic 2020 core villagers. <laughs> all right, let's put away all this mermaid furniture now. Amazing. Are you a person who like has to have a perfectly organized inventory or do you just throw a bunch of stuff in your inventory because I constantly organize mine. April Honey Raid, thank you so much, April Honey. I hope that you had a great stream. Welcome in, everyone. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming. We are looking for some villagers. We're about to start with our very first Nook Miles ticket, so you came at the perfect time. Let's go. Everybody send their good villager vibes. We're, we're, we don't have like a list of dreamies, so we're not looking for anyone in particular. We're just kind of going with the flow, seeing what kind of villagers have the good vibes. The honeydew energy. Same, Emma, same. I have a very specific inventory organization. <laughs> Efren, thank you so much. I'm so glad you enjoyed Salt Cliff. I miss that island. That's great, April. I'm doing great. We're just looking for any nostalgic villagers that give nostalgic vibes. <laughs> it's Plucky! Plucky's kind of nostalgic because she was on my Tomcore Island of Sedona, so it is nice to see her, but I don't think that she has I don't think she has the honeydew nostalgia. This is like a different kind of nostalgia. That was a good first ticket, though. It was a good first ticket. Chops and Violet vibes? Please no. <laughs> How do you organize your storage? The storage is organized for you. I think that there's like different settings. But with my inventory, I always just have my tools at the on the top row. And then... I just have, yeah, the rest of the other three rows for anything else. But I just try to keep, like, things grouped together, if that makes sense. Alright, island number two. I really want to get, like, a tracker for the next time we do a villager hunt stream, where we can keep track of, of all the islands that we've been to. I'm so glad that you guys like Salt Cliff. I miss that island. That was such an iconic island. <laughs> Thank you, Kira. Plucky was one of your starter villagers. That's awesome. I love her. We're gonna get Raymond this stream. Honestly, Raymond is like the ultimate like 2024 villager, so... Yeah, my inventory, like my pocket inventory. Oh yeah, Tangy and Stitches. Marshall and Julian. All of those villagers would be perfect. Okay, why do we... Guys, last stream I said that I liked the chicken villagers. Like, I admitted, I confessed to liking the chicken villagers. And now my statement's just going to haunt me. It's just going to haunt us for the rest of, of my streaming career. <laughs> I love Tangy too. Tangy has, like, the best vibes. And she would be perfect on our island because our native fruit is oranges and our our island is called honeydew. I feel like that's just Tangy's vibe. Alright, let's see if we get something other than a chicken this time. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lori. That's really funny that you said that because I was just now thinking about the castle build that I did. I was just reminiscing about that because I really want to do elegant core. So yeah, <laughs> I'm glad that you enjoyed the fairy core island. Hi, I found your videos yesterday and I love your stream. Start a new island today. Greetings from Germany. Thank you, Sam. Good luck with your new island. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you're embracing the nostalgic Animal Crossing vibes. Jordan, thank you for the super chat. 
Love that you're back, Mr. Content. Thank you. I'm so glad to be back here on YouTube streaming. It's so much fun to hang out with you guys. It's so wholesome. My favorite villagers are Tutu and Megan. They are underrated. I love those villagers too. Hello, Dylan. Welcome. All right, so we don't have a chicken this time. We have a rhino. Who is this? Spike? He looks like a jock villager. Cute-ish. <laughs> Cute-ish, but um, we're, we're gonna leave. We're gonna leave. This is the third Nook Miles ticket, so we just started looking for villagers. You haven't missed much. Bones is my all-time fave. I love him too. I feel like the dogs and the cats and the wolf villagers are my favorite. But then I also love Fauna. She's like my all-time favorite villager. Thank you, Shayna. Yeah, if you guys are here, be sure to like the stream. It helps me out a ton. It's a great, easy way to support the channel. All right, island number four. And guys, I finally got a pro controller. I got a Pokemon Nintendo controller over the weekend from Target. And I'm playing with it now for the first time, and it's amazing. Before, I was just using my Joy-Cons, which is fine, but the controller is just so much better. So I'm really hyped about it. I got Pashmina and Dom as my starter villagers on my island called Nightfall. Okay, number one, those are really good starter villagers, like maybe the best. And number two, Nightfall is such a cute island name. All right, who's here? I see a pink horse. I don't remember this one's name. Is it Cleo? Let's see. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh no, this is Peaches. I see, I'm a little bit rusty with my Animal Crossing villagers. I haven't played this game in like a year. Wow, I thought I'd be the only one on this tour. I'm Peaches. Okay, Peaches has kind of scary eyes, but her color combo is kind of the vibe for Honeydew. So, yeah, but I I'm still going to leave her behind. I don't think... I well, I'm just trying to say I think we could do better, okay? <laughs> Let's head out. Her eyes scare me? Yeah, same. I got Raymond yesterday at my campsite. The luck. The luck is real. <laughs> Hello, Lily. Welcome in. <laughs> yeah, I think that everyone is a little bit scared of Peaches and her eyes. They're kind of creepy. But I feel like she's still cute. Just in her own way. <laughs> Okay, I'm crossing my fingers for some cat villagers. I really want at least one cat. The cats that I'm, I would want are Bob, Raymond, or... I want to say um, Mary because I love Mary, but I feel like Lolly and Rosie were super popular at the very beginning of New Horizons, so... Honestly, all of the cat villagers. Hey, Nikki, what's up? I hope you're doing well. My three villagers after starters were Zucker, Gale, and Tutu. You guys, you said that I was having streamer luck, but it sounds like you all have the best luck with villagers. Oh, Teddy would be super cute. Hey, Airy Crossing, welcome in. All right, I don't remember what island we're on. Okay, we got a Viking. <laughs> this is Vic. Interesting. Honestly, I have no thoughts. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> zero thoughts, zero comments. Oh, thanks for coming, Saffron. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Let's, let's go. Oh, Meringue would be cute. I feel like Meringue would be perfect for this island. I'll tell you guys what island theme we're doing for this island once we hit the halfway mark of the stream, so stick around. Hello Jess, welcome in, how are you? Oh, Goldie would be cute too. Goldie would be a great villager. 
I don't know, Forest. I don't know if I have to time travel after I find this villager. Or if I can, like, just buy another housing plot and just keep going again. It's been so long since I played this game that I forgot. <laughs> but we'll figure it out. Vic and I have beef? Why do you have beef with this villager, Amber? <laughs> I love that you guys have personal beef with a bunch of villagers. I have my beef with some villagers, but we'll see if we run into them. <gasps> it's Roscoe! I know we have some Roscoe fans in the chat. Roscoe fans come out, <laughs> come out from lurking. <laughs> Snoodle, thank you so much. I'm glad to see you too. Thanks for stopping by. Hello, Crystal. We're looking for any villagers that give 2020 nostalgic vibes. Oh, cool. Thank you, Tiffany, for the tip. Oh, Roscoe's so cute. And he definitely gives, like, a little bit of 2020 nostalgic core, but I think we can do better. As much as I hate to say it, because Roscoe is such a king, I just, I think we can do better. <laughs> <laughs> Roscoe is an emo baddie. So true. <laughs> I hate Al so much. I feel like, yeah, I could get behind that. <laughs> oh, Scoot and Cherry. What great starter villagers. My first island in New Horizons, my starter villagers were Cherry. And I can't remember the other one. <laughs> but the point is, I had Cherry and I loved her. All right, let's go. I've already lost count of how many islands we've been to. See, this is why I need a counter so we can keep up. Apple, oh my gosh, I love Apple. I, if we ran into Apple on this hunt, I feel like I might take her. <laughs> She is so cute. Yeah, who was everyone's starter villagers? If you missed the first part of the stream, um, my starter villagers are Cat, the cat, and um, Rod, the mouse. Okay, another hippo. Oh, wait, I don't think we've seen a hippo yet. I think we saw a rhino earlier. Same thing, though. Same thing. Oh, Jessica, thank you so much. I appreciate your nice comment. <laughs> oh my gosh. This game makes me feel so nostalgic. And like, it's funny because four, four years ago, it's like, that's a long time ago, but also it's really not. So <laughs> it's kind of funny to feel nostalgic for something that wasn't that long ago, but I still do feel that way, okay? Oh, Sherbin Piper. Those are great starters. Goose, I love him. Snake and Rocket, I don't know. I know that Rocket, I think, is a gorilla villager, but I don't know who Snake is. Hey, Katie, welcome in. Glad you could make it to a live stream. Oh, Cookie and Stitches, those are like insane starter villagers. I love Cookie. Oh, it's Alice. Hello, Alice. Oh, what a cutie. It's so hard to leave her behind, but I'm definitely going to because she's just not up to par with some of our potential candidates that we could have. <laughs> no offense, Alice, that was kind of harsh. She's still so cute, though. She's still very cute. If you find ketchup, you have to take her for sure. 100%. I would definitely take ketchup. My goal is for us to find four villagers in this stream in the next hour and a half. So <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be possible, but that's my goal. So, it would be great if we could start running into some great uh, villagers. Oh, yeah. See, if it was Melba, maybe Melba would be a good addition, but 
Alice, she just... She wasn't cutting it. <laughs> Hello, Skylo. Welcome in. I love your profile photo. Alright, hydration check, everyone. Be sure to drink your water today. My first ever campsite villager was Marshall, and I initially didn't like him because of the attitude, but now I love him. Marshall does kind of have some attitude. <laughs> but I love him. Okay, let's see. Can we see the villager from down here? I don't think so. Aw, uh, it's okay. I'm sure you can find ketchup on another island. Oh, who is this? <laughs> who is this, Rodney? Rodney? There's something a little bit cute about him, but... <laughs> let's, let's get out of here. Hey, Peachy, how are you? It's great to see you again. I hope you're having a great Sunday. I had Hornsby and someone else I forgot. I love Hornsby. Which unpopular villagers do you guys love? Personally, I love Broccolo. Um, I feel like he's kind of unpopular. I also like Celia. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of like the chaos of having to climb up the cliffs, so I always bring my ladder. <laughs> it adds a little bit of a reveal. Some, some suspension. I'm gonna have to check my inventory when we get to the next island so I can see how many tickets we've spent so far. We really need to find the first villager. If we're gonna find four villagers in one stream, like, I'm trying to go through these islands really fast. <laughs> oh, Filbert. Is Filbert the little blue squirrel? If so, that's a really cute villager. All right, who's here? Who's here? Where are they? Aw, Gladys. I love the name Gladys. So cute. She's really, really cute, but she's not she's not matching the vibes. Let's go. Speed run, yeah, this is a speed run villager hunt. Roald is the ultimate 2020 villager. I like Roald. He's very cute. I think that the ultimate 2020 villager would have to be Raymond or Anka. Hello, Anna. Welcome in. I love Filbert too. I've grown to love the horses now, like Poppy and Winnie. I like the horse villagers. Man, I clicked the wrong button. I like the horse villagers. I think they're super cute. I forgot to check my inventory to see what ticket we're on. Oh, Sky. Sky is a really good 2020 villager. There's this artist on Twitter who posted a drawing of Sky, the Animal Crossing villager, um, over the past couple of days, and it was so cute. I love the wolf villagers. Okay, yeah, the Twitter artist, her at is Straw Bunny Cakes, and she posted some really cute Animal Crossing cover, and I just love it. Poppy is so, so cute. Poppy was on my first island, too. Ah, uh, that's one of the new... I say new. That is so sad. I said new. 2.0 came out. The, the, the 2.0 update came out in, like, 2021. So, no, he's not new, but he is from the 2.0 update, I think. That villager? I can't remember his name. Flurry? I forgot about Flurry. There's so many villagers in this game, like, there's so many. I think there's like 400 around. 
Wolfgang is so cute. I also love Dobie. Oh, Abby, you should definitely draw all of the villagers. That would be a challenge. You could do... I bet you could do, like, a challenge where you draw a different villager every day because there's definitely enough. Crispy Tanuki on TikTok had a series where he did an Animal Crossing birthday every day last year. And I think that there were enough for every single day. Oh my gosh, Shayna, thanks for reminding me. I keep forgetting every time. I need to check my inventory. I'm going to check it immediately when we land on this island. I know, right, Peachy? It's so hard to choose a favorite villager because there's so many. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we've like gone through a lot of tickets here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, these were mermaid furniture. These were- I was like, how many islands have we gone through? Um, I don't know how many we've gone through. I think I started with 100 tickets, so... So we've done almost, what, like 15 or something around there? Me trying to do math, like... <laughs> Me trying to do math? <laughs> I don't know how to do math. Please don't ask me to do math on stream. Oh no. No. No, not this villager. Is this the one that's named Rocket? We gotta go. We gotta go. <laughs> oh, Emma, thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks for coming. Crystal, my favorite animal is, of course, a tiger by obligation. Girl, it's been three days. How do you have so much stuff? Okay, it's been one week. It's been one week, okay? And I've been to some treasure islands. <laughs> Run! Yes, that was Rocket. I knew it was Rocket. Sorry, the chat's like a little bit delayed. <laughs> so I'm just now seeing all of your messages about Rocket. Rocket is my nemesis too, Maddie. All right. Everybody send all the good vibes. <laughs> We're 30 minutes into the stream, and we still haven't found one villager yet. Okay, I have good, good feelings about this one. I'm getting good vibes. Oh, okay, it's a little green koala. I think that we were talking about this villager on the last stream. I think his name is Lyman. Um, he's really cute. He kind of has, like, the color scheme that I'm going for, but... Oh, no. We gotta start finding some 2020 core villagers soon. Oh, thank you, Crystal. Have a great dinner. Thanks so much for coming. The clown sheep is my enemy. Pietro? I love Pietro. I feel like Pietro is also 2020 core, so I'm just warning you, if we ran into the clown sheep, I might have to invite your enemy to my island. So. <laughs> yeah, Lyman was a really adorable villager. Super cute, but he just wasn't giving any nostalgia for me because I never really had him on any of my islands. Yeah, I'm trying to rush and get all of the villagers moved into my island so we can get to three stars. I really want to do my first like build on this island on Thursday, so... No, guys. 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 Can we not? Can you can you guys not send the rocket energy? I'm blaming it on you. <laughs> I'm blaming it on you. Maybe it's because I dyed my hair pink in the game. And now I'm just attracting like the pink vibes. 
I cannot believe that we just got rocket again. <laughs> Why? Yeah, Judy. Judy definitely has too many to me vibes. Hey, Aurelia. Good to see you. We haven't found anyone yet, but we did reveal our first campsite villager at the beginning of the stream, and it was Henry the Frog, which I'm super excited about because, number one, he was on my very first YouTube island, so he's super nostalgic. And number two, I have a cat named Henry, so it just, it fits the vibe. Also, it's a frog. And who doesn't love frogs? <laughs> I have Rocket, and I'm hoping Rocket wants to leave soon. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Oh, yeah, I don't blame you for not liking Pietro then, because clowns are really scary. I just feel like I don't associate Pietro with clowns. I just associate Pietro with rainbows. So then I'm not scared of him anymore. I'm not looking for any particular villagers. I'm just looking for villagers that have 2020 nostalgic energy. Oh my, I'm getting really bad villagers right now. I'm getting really bad villagers. Rocket first, now one of the kangaroos. I don't like the kangaroo villagers. I swear, the kangaroo villagers are like a um, nightmare. They're like a, a sleep paralysis demon. I don't like them. <laughs> run. Yeah, just run. Just same. All right, let's go to the next island. Hopefully, we'll get some good vibes. Hopefully, this will be the the island where we find our very first villager of the day. If you haven't been here long, I'm trying to find four villagers. Well, really, I'm trying to get five villagers today, and we already got one from our campsite, and now we're villager hunting for the next four. Tandy, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it very, very much. Here we go. Here we go to the next island. Tandy hype, yes. Let's get some hype for the super chat. Celeste and Blathers hype. <laughs> I love it. Alright. Oh my gosh. Stop. Tandy, you sent all of the good vibes. Look who it is. It's a total 2020 core villager. It's Tia. It's Tia. And y'all, Tia is actually going to be perfect for Honeydew because I want to build a little tea shop. And Tia could be the tea shop owner. Tia could be the tea shop owner. Do you, do you guys think I should take her? I'm going to do a poll. Let's do a poll. I don't want to just take her without asking you guys. Oh, she would be so cute. All right. We're going to host a poll. I feel like you guys will say yes. So <laughs> I think she's going to be so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Does, does she give off 2020 core like nostalgic vibes? I think so. I think so. Okay, yeah. She's totally winning this poll. So we're, we're going to invite her. Oh wow, that's such a great idea. Thank you for encouraging me. No, thank you, Tia, for coming. Thank you for coming to my island. You're going to love it here. She's perfect for a tea shop? I know. I think she's perfect for the island theme, too. All right. So, we've got our first villager from the villager hunt. So we only need three more villagers. Let's head back to the island. That was so successful. That was so successful. Oh my gosh, did I really have Tia on my fairy core island? I don't remember. I do not remember that. Like, why is my memory so bad? <laughs> Her or Chai, if you have amiibos. I do have the Sanrio amiibos. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, so now if I'm correct, we'll need to time travel. So this this spot is sold to Henry. Also, please don't mind the absolute disaster that my island is. And then I think this plot over here will be sold to Tia. Amazing. So I think we just need to time travel and then we can place another plot and continue villager hunting. So let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, May, I'm so glad that you're able to make it too. I love that so many of you are restarting your islands at the same time as me because we're just in this boat together. It's so fun. Okay, let's time travel to the next day. Let's get back on Honeydew. And while we're waiting on the loading screen, I just want to remind you all that we opened up my community Discord server. So if you want to join, the link is in the description and the mods will also send it in the chat. It's super fun. I'm going to be posting behind the scenes stuff and we're just hanging out, having fun in the server. So you should join. Citro, welcome in. Thank you so much. We just found Tia the elephant teacup villager so the vibes are good the hype is real we got the tangy hype <laughs> we got the tangy hype for the stream it's been going well so no i didn't finish blossom i think it was on the switch and i reset the island <laughs> Oh my gosh, yes, 2020 Animal Crossing is so nostalgic. Such a cozy vibe. Oh, Lisa, have fun making tea. That sounds amazing. How cozy. What a cozy time. Oh my gosh, I forgot that Isabel's doing the announcements now. She's so cute. All right, Henry has moved onto the island officially. How exciting. How exciting. I know, I love Tia too. She is so adorable. And we also have Henry, who just moved in as well, who was our first campsite villager. So yeah, this stream is just, it's just been hype. We've gotten some good villagers. We only need three more. Only need three more. Okay, let's open up these gifts really quick that I got in the mail. A microwave. And a coffee grinder, amazing. Those are like actually realistic gifts. Actually, no, I take that back because who would give a microwave as a gift? Who would give a microwave as a gift? Maybe if you were like going to college for the first time and like your mom got you a microwave for your dorm. <laughs> Other than that, I don't know why you would get a microwave as a gift, but the coffee grinder, I feel like that's a good gift idea. <laughs> Okay, I think that- oh, we need to go put down a plot first, so let's go buy that, and then I think we have enough no miles tickets to just continue- continue the villager hunt. I'm too, am I, too attached to my islands to set them to a dream address and delete them, so I just bought extra switch lights. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. It's really hard to delete an island. It's really hard. Especially for people who struggle with just like letting things go, aka me. Hey Maddie, thanks for joining us. I hope you had fun at April's stream. Alright, so I don't know why I just stared at the ATM. We need to talk to Tom and get another housing plot. <laughs> it could be a home warming gift, yeah. All right, let's place this one, and then we'll go villager hunting. All right, Tom, thanks so much. Let's go place this plot. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to find another villager. Finding villagers is like a dopamine high. It's amazing. <laughs> Okay, let's see if there's enough room right here to place a house. I think there is. It's gonna be a tight squeeze. Maybe there's not, maybe it's too small. Oh, nope, here we go, let's do it. Amazing. 
Amazing. Let's go find another villager. I think it would be great if we found a cat villager. I mean, we already have cat the cat. So, like, we're good. But I would still appreciate having another cat villager on my island because cats are just amazing. Yes, Raymond vibes, exactly. We need Raymond on this island. All right, let's resume this villager hunt. Everybody send all of your good vibes, all of your dreamy vibes, send your Raymond energy. And let's go. Let's go. Yes, Kiki and Lolly would be so cute on the island. Honestly, I would love to have Kiki. Let's go. Hello, Dragonborn Hank. Welcome in. Good to see you. All the vibes. Thank you. Crossing my fingers. Thank you. Oh, Skylar, I hope you feel better soon. <gasps> Guys, it's Melba. It's Melba. <laughs> oh my gosh. Y'all. Oh, this is this is going to be a really hard decision. Oh, this has got to be a really hard decision. Melba's really cute. Melba's really cute. Oh, Aurelio, thanks for coming. See you later. Oh, Melba's so cute. And Melba definitely is nostalgic energy. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I know, I feel like we have to take her because we did manifest her. All right, let's do a poll. Let's do a poll. We'll do a poll for Melba. Everybody vote in the chat. <laughs> Everyone vote, we'll decide together. Oh, you have Melba on your island, Kira? I'm just looking for any 2020 core, like just nostalgic villager. So Melba's definitely pretty good. Oh man, I don't know. Look at her though, she's so cute. And I think she would fit my island theme. I feel like she would fit the island. I just, I don't know. Oh, you guys are all saying yes. <laughs> okay, okay. We're gonna end the poll at 50 votes. We're gonna invite her. We still have two more villagers to find, so. I feel like we'll regret it if I leave her here. And she's so cute, look at her. She's so cute. Tina, welcome into the chat. Good to see you, thank you. All right, well that was very successful. It only took one ticket and we got Melba, so. <laughs> Yay! I feel like Melba has like really just calm, chill energy. <laughs> She's gonna be perfect on the island. I come back and you found Melba? Yeah, like literally on one ticket, we found her. Yeah, she does fit the theme. Okay. All right. That worked out. So let's just go ahead and time travel to the next day. And then I think that Tia will move on to the island. We can place another plot and we can go find another villager. Wow, that was some good luck. I'm I'm impressed. And we were just talking about Melba too. We we manifested this together. <laughs> Maybe you have better luck when I'm gone. No, Lisa, that's not true. <laughs> it was because you came back. That's why we found Melba. This long loading screen. <laughs> Well, while there's a loading screen, I guess I can remind you guys that I did open up channel memberships. There are three tiers. They're Animal Crossing themed, which is super cute and fun. There's the Brewster tier, the Celeste tier, and the Blathers tier. All you have to do is press the join button below to read more info about it. And you can see there are some awesome perks that you get from being a member, like loyalty badges and some custom emojis that you can use in the chat. So yeah, thank you. <laughs> Let's get back to Animal Crossing. We're gonna go buy a housing plot and try to find another villager. 
Raymond's going to be next. Yes, I love the Raymond energy. I love the Raymond energy. I feel like he would just be the cherry on top, perfect 2020 core villager. Oh, good luck. I hope that you find Rosie. She's a great villager. Oh, Isabel's just so cute. Yay, Tia's on our island officially. Welcome to the island, Tia. <laughs> I'm so excited to build her a little tea shop. It's going to be so cute. Manifesting Raymond, thank you. I think I think Raymond has just become like our dreamy now. Let's check our mail. I love checking the mail. <laughs> and look at Tia's house. It's so cute. It's so cute. I love that. All right. So I think I'm going to move this so that we can fit our next plot right there. I think that that's going to be the spot for it. So let me place this little noodle slide over here. And let's go buy another plot. Oh, look at Sherb carrying around the little water watering can that's so cute another neat day on honeydew so cute also look guys i picked out a flag for honeydew island it's so cute it's so cute i love it so much all right let's go buy another housing plot welcome in joe we have gotten three new villagers on our island already we have henry the frog we've gotten tia the elephant and we also found melba the koala and now we need to find, I think, two more villagers to complete our 10 villagers on Honeydew. Oh, what's happening? I think that now we can start checking our island rating. Ooh, hydration check. I need some water. Hello, Jamie. Welcome in. Good to see you. All right. Excuse me. Can I can I have a seat? Excuse me. <laughs> All right. Let's buy another plot so we can get back to the villager hunt. Those villagers are so good. You're so lucky. Thank you. I couldn't have done it without without the chat. Y'all have been sending the best vibes today. Man, we're spending so many bells getting all these housing plots. <laughs> Tom Nook is such a fanboy. I love that. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's go place this house. Let's go place this house, and then I will continue the villager hunt. And also... I'll reveal the island theme that we'll be doing for this island. So let's go place this pot. It's going to probably destroy these flowers, but it's okay. It's okay. Yep, we're placing them directly on the flowers, but it's fine. Yay! Okay, let's go. Raymond vibes only. Also, though, I wouldn't be mad if we found Tangy. I, I keep remembering that I really want Tangy on this island. I don't know if we're going to find her, but it's okay. <laughs> Just any, any 2020 core and nostalgic villagers will make me happy, so... All right, here we go. Everyone cross your fingers. Send your good vibes. Send your 2020 energy. Not the green mums, I know. I know. They're my favorite flower, too. I can see Raymond. You can just envision Raymond on this island. <laughs> that would be amazing. It would be amazing. Okay, let's see. This is villager hunt number three. Ticket number one. Let's see who it is. It better be someone good. Um, it, it's him again. It's him again. I don't remember his name. 
Roswell. He is really cute, but you know. You know. Alright, so let's reveal the island theme for Honeydew Island. This this new island that we've been building for a week now. I finally decided on a theme. I wasn't gonna do like a specific island theme because I don't know, I was just gonna do like 2020 and nostalgic core. But but that's not on brand for me. I need a core. I need some sort of theme because I feel like that was such a big part of Animal Crossing and New Horizons is like picking your island theme. So I've decided to pick up where we left off on Blossom and we're going to do ourselves a spring core island. It's going to be super cute. I already made this cute little outfit for the big announcement. Look at how adorable and springy. And also it's like spring right now. I just, I think that we can make such a cute little spring core island and also we're going to have different elements of nostalgia core and norm core. So it's going to be really fun trying to integrate all these really extravagant popular villagers with the spring core theme. Oh, we can't open our map here, but like Sherb, Sherb doesn't really fit spring core, but we're, we're going to make it work. And I've already downloaded some designs for the island, so I will show you a little preview this is kind of the vibe this is the vibe that we're going for and you can see i have this tea shop design so it's it's just so perfect that we found tia on this stream like are you joking i was already planning on doing a tea shop but yeah if you want to download any of the design codes i have a pinterest board the link is in the description and i made a 2024 codes collection and I've organized it with all of the different types of codes. So you can easily find any of the codes that I'm going to do this year. Um, yeah, the link is in the description if you want to check that out. If you need help finding some cute codes for your Animal Crossing Island. But anyways, back to the hunt. Now you guys know we're doing spring core. And on Thursday, we're probably going to do our very first build on the island. If, if we can find the last two villagers this stream and maybe get three stars yeah then we can do a build next stream and i really want to do a really cute spring core entrance so be sure that you're subscribed if you want to keep up with the streams and keep up with this island i would appreciate it a lot i love the garden path code it's so versatile agreed i love that pathway and i can't wait to use it i cannot wait to use it I'm so glad that you guys like the spring core aesthetic. It's so cute. I can't wait to do this island. I started a spring core island about a year ago and I completely just like fell off and I didn't finish it. So I still haven't technically done a spring core island. So I'm really excited about this. And you may have noticed <laughs> that yesterday I did a poll on my channel about different island themes and spring core was like not on that list. And that's because that poll is for... A different island that I'm going to start off stream to make some videos on so <laughs> if you were wondering oh thank you Gothbird I appreciate it so much all right here we go we got this cute little bird villager um, he's green he's green but he still doesn't really match the vibes also what do you guys think about this acorn hat I love it <laughs> I love it so much Tangy vibes? Thank you. Thank you for all of the tangy vibes. Thank you so much. Maybe we should put on our little orange hat and then summon tangy that way. Hello, Jay Kendall. We're just looking for any like 2020 core nostalgic villagers. Let's go. I'm feeling the good vibes for this next island. I'm excited for regular videos. Me too. I'm so excited. I get my new switch tomorrow so I can start recording on a new island that I'm going to start. And I'm just, I'm, I'm really hyped. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I don't know if it'll happen, but I'm hoping to upload my first video back on the channel on Friday. So we'll see. If it's not this Friday, it'll be next Friday for sure. 
Oh, Hawaii Paradise sounds beautiful. <laughs> Summoning Raymond and Tangy. Thank you, Lily, for all the good vibes. Hello, Joy. Welcome in. I would be so happy if we got Raymond. He would just be the perfect villager for this island. I mean, I don't know if he would look good in the spring core vibes, but we would make it work. Oh, this villager is cute. Oh, maybe? <laughs> maybe not? I don't know. Pango? I mean, she's she's cute in her own way, but we're gonna we're gonna leave her here. We're gonna leave her here. Cyber Pigeon, I love your username. Welcome in. You've you've missed a lot. I'm not gonna lie. We found three villagers today already. We've gotten Henry, Tia, and Melba, and we're looking for two more villagers, so stick around. Yeah, Elegant Court did win the poll, so I'm probably going to do some Elegant Court builds, but I definitely love Forest Core and Fairy Core too. I don't know. I can't decide. I might just do a bunch of different builds and different themes. <laughs> not stick to one island theme and then we can just use uh, Honeydew Island, the island that we're on right now is for that <laughs> if it's going to be an anteater it's going to be Antonio I love Antonio he's cute cuties, what's the theme? the theme is spring core Oh, crocheting on a road trip sounds like such a cozy vibe. I hope that you have a safe trip. Safe and easy travels. And I hope you're enjoying your crocheting. That sounds so fun. Alright, who is this? Who are you? Miranda? Miranda Cosgrove? <laughs> A Raymond or a Tangy poll? Maybe we can do a Raymond or Tangy poll at the end of stream. Divide your island into four sections and find a way to blend them together? That's not a bad idea. I wanted to try doing that before, but that was also another island that fell off. <laughs> there were two islands that I didn't finish when I was on YouTube the last time, which was Blossom and Atlas. So rest in peace, everybody put an F in the chat for Atlas and Blossom, the islands that I abandoned and deleted without finishing. <laughs> oh, an elegant enchanted forest. That sounds so cute. I was thinking of that, like I was thinking, I've never heard of anyone say like fairy tale core. Cause like fairy tale core is giving a mix of fairy core, elegant core, and kind of Maybe even cottage core. I don't know. Like fairy tale? That sounds like such a vibe for an island. Yeah, enchanted forest. I feel like that's kind of similar. <laughs> all the F's in the chat for all of my deleted and abandoned islands. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome in. We found. Well, we technically have found two villagers, and then we also got our first campsite villager. So we've gotten three new villagers so far. <gasps> Guys, it's Man! I love this villager. She's totally nostalgic for me, but... Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I would take her, though. She's super cute, though. I think I've taken her before and had her on a different island, so... <laughs> the way that I said that, it sounded like I abducted her. <laughs> no, she, she agreed to move in. I did not take her. I invited her. <laughs> oh, Snow White or Sleeping Beauty vibes? I love that. I was thinking about starting over my original island, but it's full of all the nostalgia items and rare flowers. It's so hard to leave behind an island, but something about starting a new island is such a vibe, and it, it, it's so fun. Oh, Amber Moon, that's such a great island theme. I bet your island's gonna turn out awesome. Yeah, I feel like Elegant Core is like such an intimidating island theme. I've never tried it because it just, it looks so intimidating. I see these builds and they're like really grand and really just insane, so. But I really wanna try it, so I'm, I'm gonna give it a try, I think. 
Hi, Kim. Welcome in. You're not too late. You are not too late. We need all of the good vibes that we could get, so... Alright, who's here? It's Benedict! It's Benedict! I'm not gonna invite him, but he is super nostalgic for me. I love him very much. He was on my first island, and then he was also on my other island, Sedona, if you guys remember. Him and Plucky were like a couple on my island, so... Yes, super nostalgic. Oh no, I did not mean to talk to him. Now I have to reject him. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry, Benedict. I hope that you find a, a good place to live, but it's, it's not going to be on my island, unfortunately. Unfortunately. It doesn't matter what theme I try doing, it always ends in fairy core. Honestly, I... I don't blame you. Fairy core is such a good theme. I feel like no matter what theme I try doing, it always ends up in like cottage core, so I relate. Oh, that's a nice Amber Moon. Good luck with the rest of your island. Channels good vibes menacingly. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Alicia. Okay, let's go. I have good good feelings about this island, and the last time that I said that, we found a good villager, so... Benedict was my first lazy villager. I love him. I got so attached to him. What's everyone's favorite villager? Like, number one villager that you just formed an attachment to that you just can't let go of. For me, that's Fauna, because... She was just like my best friend in New Leaf, and I just formed an unhealthy attachment to her, and I love her so much. And there was a Fauna plushie at Target, and I almost bought it, but I, I resisted. I resisted so hard. Oh, look at how cute that little bit. Wait, what? This villager's not real? Y'all, this villager's an inflatable. Do you see that? Do you see that? He's, he's a balloon. How did I never know that? Hopkins? Brianna, thank you so much for becoming a member, by the way. Thank you so much. I appreciate it so, so much. We're 80% of the way to our monthly membership goal. Let's get some hype in the chat. Thank you so much. We got Bob and Punchy dancing. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, let's let's leave the inflatable villager behind. The inflator, inflatable villager, it reminds me of like the inflatable chairs that you can buy at like five below. <laughs> oh, Rihanna, thank you again. I'm so glad to see you using the custom emojis. They're so cute. Hopkins is so underrated. I had no idea that he was inflatable. He is super cute though. He is super cute, though. Oh, you got the Fauna plush from Target, Jess? I'm so jealous. Maybe I should go back. Maybe I should go back and get her. Because it's a very cute plushie. The dancing is just mood. I love the villagers dancing. Like, it's so cute to look at. Like, just, just look at this. This is just it's wholesome energy. Wholesome energy. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Let's go to the next island. We've channeled some wholesome energy. Maybe we'll find a good villager. <laughs> I have like a really cute crocheted fauna plushie and that's like why I decided not to get the one from Target because I already have one fauna plushie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie though, the Lego set that I bought, I only bought it because it had the fauna character. It's the only reason why I got the second set. Okay, look at this villager. This is this is not what we're looking for. No offense, Renee. No offense. Oh, okay. I, I talked to her because last time that we ran into Rocket, I didn't talk to Rocket, and then Rocket kept appearing. Let's go. 
Let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. I accidentally gave Lolly a hot dog costume. You 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 gave Lolly a, a hot dog costume? I don't blame you. I actually have a hot dog costume in my storage right now on this island because I plan on giving it to a villager. So <laughs> I also got a maid costume, so if we got Raymond, we could we could put him in the maid outfit. Oh, thanks, Cat Duck. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I hope you have a cozy end to your weekend. We'll channel some good vibes for the rest of the villager hut in honor of you. What's your least favorite villager? I don't know. I don't really have like a least favorite. But probably the gorillas. <laughs> Okay, who's here? Who's here? Oh, this this villager's cute. This villager's cute, but we already have Tia, so we don't need any more elephant villagers. I feel like so many people forget that you can gift your villagers clothing and they will wear it. You can you can do so many fun things with that. <laughs> Thoughts on Stu? Who's Stu? Is Stu the um, the bull villager? The blue one? I think he's cute. I think he's cute. Alright, I'm gonna check my inventory once we get to the next island so we can see how many tickets we've spent. We only have about like 48 minutes left and I need to find two villagers, so... But don't worry, we'll go over time if... if we need to. <laughs> That's actually so 2020. Ellie, I literally have her too with Melba. Why are you finding my current villagers? Didn't this happen in the last stream? Didn't this happen in the last stream, Kira, where I was finding- I found Sherb sure because of you? Oh, look guys, another chicken villager! That is the fourth chicken villager that we've come across, and yes, I've kept count. Because I love the chickens. They're so cute, and it's a win to see them. Even if we're not going to invite them, it's still a win. <laughs> Kira, you just like give all of the villager vibes. You need to start summoning Raymond. If you get Raymond on your island, then maybe, maybe he'll come to my island. Okay, let's go. Everybody send your Tangy vibes. I would love to see Tangy. Literally found Sherb in my campsite because of you. <laughs> We just have that twin energy. I want to replace Gabby and Hazel on my island. I currently have Judy, Melba, Megan, Chrissy, Ioni, Poppy, Lolly, and Mary. Oh, all of your villagers are really good, though. All of your villagers are so good. I love Chrissy. And we're twins now because I invited Melba to my island. Guys, it's Portia! Portia's so cute! Oh, she's so nostalgic for me too. She was also on Salt Cliff Island, my first YouTube island, and I just, I love her. I love her so much. Oh, it's gonna be so hard to leave the home. But I will, I will. I'll fight the urge. I'll fight the urge. She's nostalgic, but I feel like I feel like we could do better. I feel like we could do better. No offense. No offense to Portia because she is a queen. She is a queen. <laughs> Chrissy with no Francine, a crime. Truly. Thank you, Kira, for the manifesting vibes. <laughs> Here we go again. I forgot to check my inventory again. Maybe I'll remember this time. 
Oh, Apple is such a cute hamster. I also love any of the cat villagers. If you guys just have joined the Discord server, which I just opened, by the way, and you should totally join. Um, every time that you chat, you get XP and you can level up in the server. And all of the different levels are based on the Animal Crossing cat villagers, so... I love that. Alright, let's see who's here. Let's see who's here. It's a little sheep. Who is this? I don't remember her name. Barbara. Cute, but not who we're looking for. Not who we're looking for, but still cute nonetheless. I really like the sheep villagers, especially Muffy and Eunice. Let's head out. Also, Vesta is a really cute villager. I really like the sheep. I feel like the sheep are, are underrated. Hello, Caroline. Welcome in. Good to see you. Hello, Star Swifty. Welcome back. I don't think we found anyone since you left. The last villager we found was Melba. All right, let's go. Let's go. Everybody send the 2020 vibes. Oh yeah, that's Wall is also a sheep villager that's really cute. And Stella and Dom. See, the sheep villagers are underrated. They're super cute. And Pietro. I, I, I noticed that you guys have mixed vibes about Pietro. <laughs> some people like Pietro and then some people don't like Pietro. I'm a Pietro stan. I like him. Alright, let's see who's here. Oh my gosh, is it Antonio? Y'all, who summoned Antonio? Somebody was just now saying if it's gonna be an anteater, it's gotta be Antonio. So whoever said that, you summoned Antonio. He's super cute too, but he's not he's not good for in, for Honeydew Island, I think. He's still very, very cute though. <laughs> Kira, yes, we're gonna have carbon copies of each other's villagers. Yeah, Melba's so cute! Melba's so cute! We only used one ticket and we found Melba, so... Bye, gotta go, I hate Antonio! Well, <laughs> I'm sorry that Antonio was the last villager you saw, but thanks for coming and hanging out today! Hello, Daisy. We're looking for any 2020 vibe villagers like Bob, Raymond, um, Anka. Just like any 2020 nostalgic villagers. We already have Sherb. We have Adi. We got Pico and Melba and Henry the Frog. And who else? Tia, the elephant. And now we're just looking for two more villagers to add to our island. He is the cutest anteater. He is. Oh, yeah. Maple. Maple would also be a really good villager to find. I would invite Maple to my island instantly. Instantly, I would. Oh, no. Not this villager. This villager was on Java, though. I don't remember their name, but... They were on Java Island. Hey, Ollie Crossing. Good to see you. Welcome in. Maple and Molly are your top two favorite villagers. Those two villagers would be perfect for this island. I love Molly. I forgot. Like, I literally forgot that Molly existed until you said that. <laughs> I haven't played Animal Crossing in forever. I've been playing Stardew and Disney Dreamlight Valley. That sounds fun though. Stardew Valley is about to have the 1.6 update this Tuesday. So that's very exciting for Stardew players. I haven't played in a few weeks, but I think that I might start a new Stardew Valley farm for the new update. And Disney Dreamlight Valley, I'm I just I could never really get into that game. 
I love Pearl. I love that villager too. Oh, Phoebe is such a great villager. Molly is a Spring Corps baby. She would be so cute on Honeydew. <laughs> Alright, let's go see who's here. Um, no, I... Excuse me? That was a jump scare. That was a jump scare. Like, why? Why does this keep happening? This is the third time during this stream that we've run into Rocket, and I've had enough. I'm about to have to put my foot down. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing I can do, but... I've had enough. I've had enough. <laughs> Welcome in, Perry. We're looking for just any any good nostalgic vibe villagers. Just any villagers other than Rocket, basically. <laughs> any villagers that just give that vibe of 2020 New Horizons just came out. And I want this popular villager. That's... That's the villagers that we're looking for. <laughs> what is that thing? It's Rocket. It's Rocket, the villager that keeps haunting me. All right, guys, it's time for our reminder to subscribe to the channel if you want to keep hanging out with our streams every Sunday and Thursday. And also like the stream. Um, it would help my channel out a ton. I would appreciate it. If all of you hit the like button, please, <laughs> please, with my blushy tongue, <laughs> will that convince you? All right, let's go. Let's go. Who's here? Who's here? Can we see them from here? I think so. Who is that? I can see blue. It's a kangaroo. Uh-uh. We're out. We're out. <laughs> Let's, let's skedaddle. <laughs> Grandpa Peewee? No. I can't remember what Peewee looks like, but my grandmother has a dog named Peewee, and though I love Peewee very much, he is a very crusty, a crusty dog. <laughs> you, don't, you know what I'm talking about when I say that. Just a little tiny crusty dog. Which, by the way, I love little tiny crusty dogs, but. <laughs> they are definitely. Um, they're definitely something. <laughs> my mom, I mean, my stepmom also has a crusty dog. A little tiny crusty dog. I don't even know what, like, breed of dog. I would consider to be the tiny crusty dogs, but they all I've just kind of grouped into one breed called tiny crusty dog. Can we also take a moment for Klaus? He's a literal sleep paralysis demon. Which villager is that? Which villager is that? I don't remember Klaus. I'll look him up. I will look him up for you. Oh, the Greek statue type of villager. I just have no feelings about that villager. Oh, look at this. Another frog. Froggy Crossing Sighting. Hello. I don't know what frog that is. I don't remember their name. Oh, bye, Lily. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Is that an acorn purse? Yeah, this is the acorn purse and the little acorn hat that I have on my character. I don't know how you get these items. I got them from a treasure island, so... Unfortunately, I can't give you the tips and tricks. <laughs> I have a little dog, but I don't know if he's crusty. Like, just look up, like, crusty, white, tiny dog, and you'll know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that'll pull up exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's like a, a genre of dog. Okay, let's send all of our good vibes for this island. We are going to be looking for any 2020 nostalgic popular villagers. So, any vibes for Raymond, Bob, Anka, Molly, Maple, Judy, Julian, any of those villagers. Just all those vibes, send them on over. 
Brianna, thank you so much for the welcome back. I appreciate it. Married life is going great. My husband just got a new job a few months ago and we moved to a new city and the vibes have been great. Truly, it's been great. And I think our two year anniversary is coming up this summer, so that's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. I feel like, sorry, I just readjusted, but I feel like me and my husband just got married, so I can't even believe that it's been two years. It's Renee again? No. Just no. Quit sending me these villagers. Let's get out. Time to run. <laughs> Gotta bounce. Help, I just got a gorilla glue ad. See, the gorillas are following us around. Also, Kira, I think you said earlier that you don't like the ape or monkey villagers, and I agree. I agree. And I usually think that monkeys are super cute. I just don't really like the style that Animal Crossing went with. I feel like they could have made them so much cuter. Like, oh my gosh. They really did them dirty. Alright, here we go. Let's Let's go to the next island. I'm feeling good vibes again, so maybe there will be a cute villager on this one. Thank you, Melissa. Not the bubblegum rhino. Tell me that's not bubblegum on her head. It kind of does look like bubblegum. I keep forgetting some villagers. Y'all, it's been like a year since I played Animal Crossing. I just now started playing again last week, so I have forgotten so many of the villagers. Oh, Caroline, enjoy your dog walk. That sounds really nice. Thanks for stopping by. It was it was good to see you and hang out. Enjoy your nice Washington weather. I'm so jealous. Y'all, look, it's Gonzo. It's Gonzo. We were just talking about him, too. We've gotten a lot of the cute koala villagers this stream. We saw Lyman. We saw Alice. We invited Melba to our island, and now... Now we're seeing Gonzo. I, I just can't. I just slammed my controller against <laughs> my desk on accident. But yeah, we've seen so many koalas. How cute. I'm gonna leave Gonzo though because we we did invite Melba. I don't want double koalas. Even though they would kind of make a cute little couple. We're, we're gonna leave. Sophia, hello! We're doing great. How are you? Jasmine, you keep getting cephalobot on your villager hunts. I... That is so relatable. That is so relatable. That's me today with Rocket. I think we've seen Rocket four or five times now, and I'm, I'm so over it. I have beef with Rocket now. And look, I know that Rocket is pink, and as you guys probably have been able to tell by now, I love pink. Rock, Rocket just isn't, he's, or she, I don't know what their pronouns are. I have no idea, but I still, I just don't vibe with Rocket. <laughs> he's a little baby grandfather and I love him. You keep calling all the villagers grandpa and grandma, and I love that. I feel like there are some villagers that just give off grandma and grandpa vibes. For example, Dobie the wolf. Such a little grandpa. Okay, so Rocket uses she, her pronouns. Good to know. Good to know. Rocket is a she, her queen. Still doesn't change my mind. Okay, so she's a sisterly villager. I had no idea. See, I'm learning more about Rocket. Maybe, maybe the more and more we keep running into her, the more she'll grow on us. Okay, this villager's name is Cube. Cube. How cute. Their eyes kind of look like Peaches, the horse that we ran into earlier. Also, don't hate me for not collecting the resources on these islands. We don't have time, okay? We're trying to find five villagers in this stream, and we still have two more left to find, and we only have about 30 minutes left. Hello, welcome in. I'm so glad that you guys like Doby. Doby is like such a cute villager. If we found Doby, I don't know if I could resist. We are looking for any villagers that give off 2020 nostalgia 
Just any 2020 vibes. Which ones have you found today? We have found... First of all, we got Henry the Frog as our very first campsite villager, which we revealed at the beginning of the stream. And then we've been villager hunting. We found Tia, the teacup elephant, and we invited her. And then we also found Melba, the koala, and we invited Melba. And now we're looking for two more villagers to invite to Honeydew Island, so... Okay, a camo... A camo alligator is, is not the vibe. <laughs> not quite the energy that we're looking for. I have that feeling right now that I have to sneeze, but like it's not happening. I hope you get Anka. I want her so badly. Honestly, I would love to have Anka on my island. That would be so iconic. Anka's the perfect iconic 2020 core villager. All right, let's head out to the next island. Everybody send your dreamy vibes. It's much appreciated. I honestly don't really have many thoughts on Taylor Swift. I've just never been a Swifty. I do like some of the just like OG Taylor Swift songs. Um, but yeah, I'm just I don't I don't have I don't have any thoughts. I just restarted my island. I need island names. Everyone, you know the drill. Daisy in the chat needs uh, some help naming her island. So send all of your great island name uh, ideas into the chat. I always recommend naming your island Paradise. It's just, it's the safest bet. Another alligator? Okay, we're seeing a little bit too many alligators. I'm not gonna complain yet, but the next time that we see one, I'm probably going to. Oh, Fairy Core? A Fairy Core island name? Um, I always just have to say Pixie Hollow. <laughs> I don't know. Um, that's such a basic fairy court name, but I feel like it still is such a slay. Or anything with the word like pixie or the word hollow. Hollow is kind of a long word though. I don't know if it would fit in the Animal Crossing like island name character length. <laughs> Oh, Breeze is such a cute island name. I love that one. I'm so glad I named my island Paradise back in 2020, so I never had to restart. Yeah, Paradise is like a safe, universal name that could be applied to almost any island, and it works. That is- a th I love Katy Perry, okay? I love Katy Perry, and what happened to Katy Perry, by the way? Because Katy Perry was just like slaying the 2000s and then she she just hasn't really, I don't think she's released any music recently. That's this frog again, Frogbert. It's a no for me. Oh, Sugar Plum. I love the island name Sugar Plum. That's so cute. My fairy core island name was Emerald. I, I loved that name. You could always use Emerald. Goblin City. I love that. Here we go again. How many times have we talked to Orville today? Way too many. And I'm pretty sure the last time that I was supposed to check my inventory to see how many tickets we've used, I forgot yet again. So I don't know how many tickets we have left. I started with 100 tickets in my inventory, so... Wisteria, that's a pretty name too. 
Faye Grove is really cute. You guys are great at naming islands. Like, it takes me so long to come up with an island name. Oh, Amethyst is cute. <gasps> guys, it's a cat villager. I think that this is Pearl. It is a cute little calico cat. Oh, uh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, I feel like Pearl is such a cute villager, but I don't know if she's giving nostalgia 2020 vibes. I'm just so, it's so hard to tempt me with the cat villagers. I just, I love cats so much. I just want to choose cats always. I just want to say yes to them. It's just like in real life, like if you put a cat in front of me, I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna say yes, but I think that we should be the stronger person and leave because I don't think that Pearl is matching the vibes. I'm sorry, Pearl. I'm so sorry, Pearl, but we gotta go. We gotta go before I say yes. <laughs> we gotta go. Oh, Gemstone? I love that island name. Oh my gosh, Kira, why... Why? <laughs> Why are you sending all your villagers to me? Why does this keep happening? I think that that was the first cat villager that we've ran into this entire stream, so... The Raymond and Tangy vibes are not looking up, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm trying to find Maple or Molly because ever since some of you mentioned Maple and Molly, I just remembered how cute they were. And I would love them on my island. Hydration check, everyone. Be sure you're drinking plenty of water today. Okay, let's go. Let's see who it is. Let's see who's here. <gasps> Stop! Stop! What is my luck right now? Oh, my, I feel like this deserves a dance party. I feel like this deserves a full-on Wii Sports dance party. <laughs> Y'all, I, I have won at villager hunting. We just found Maple after I just said that I really want Maple. This is, this is hype. <laughs> oh my gosh, like this is, I, we've won, we've won at life, we need, we need some dancing, yes, the vibes, the vibes, <laughs> I don't even think that we need to do a poll, I don't even think that we need to do a poll, but I will do one anyways, because you guys are a part of this island, you're a part of selecting all the villagers, so... Um, just yes, dances aggressively. <laughs> yes, dance aggressively to the the Wii music, the Wii Sports theme song. <laughs> yes, so hi, Lisa. Thank you for becoming a member of the Brewster tier. Welcome to the member squad. Yes, now we have star fragments in our dance party. This is amazing. The vibes are right! In honor of Lisa becoming a member, let's invite Maple! <laughs> oh my gosh, you'll love it on my island, Maple! We're gonna build you just like the cutest house ever! It's gonna be amazing! I cannot believe- I just- I- look at how cute she is! Mom always says that every trip you take is a chance to invite new friends into your life, honey! Are you kidding me? I'm gonna cry, that's so sweet. <laughs> How cute. How cute. I am just so excited. That is the biggest win of the day. I am just, I'm so hyped right now. Imagine if she had a little cafe or flower shop. Kira, that is such a great idea. Yes, Melba and Maple in one day. I guess I can end the poll. We had 98% of people said yes to Maple. 
Maple can have a honey shop like Tia has a tea shop. Alicia, that's a great idea. Missy, I know. We just keep going. Like, I just, I can't. We have the best luck right now on Honeydew Island. You know, it's just this epic comeback to YouTube moment for me. <laughs> I'm just so happy. Okay, I think we need a time travel now. And then we'll place the final island plot. And then we'll go find our final villager for Honeydew Island. And I'm going to be keeping these villagers, by the way, for the entirety of the island. So this is permanent. These are permanent decisions that we're making. And we have about 20 minutes left in the stream. We'll see if we can find our last villager. If not, we might extend the stream a little bit. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But oh my gosh, you guys. All the hype for Maple. And I didn't even realize that we reached our monthly membership goal. Thank you so much. We can... Let's have some dance vibes. Thank you so much. I'm gonna have to make a new goal because you, you guys are so crazy and amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ariel, welcome in. We have found four out of five villagers for the stream. We got Henry in our campsite and we have found Tia, Melba, um who else and just maple is just three and then we had the fourth campsite villager yeah so we found maple melba and tia and now we're looking for the fourth villager the final villager for honeydew island <laughs> how amazing yes dance vibes i love the dance party vibes it's it's amazing it's so amazing all right, Isabel, who, is, who moved in today? I think we have Melba. Yes, Melba's on our island. So fun. Oh my gosh, we've just, we found so many good villagers. I still cannot get over it. I just can't get over it. I cannot. All right, you guys, I've updated the monthly membership goal, so... <laughs> Thank you everyone who helped us crush the first goal. I appreciate it so, so much. Let's go buy our final plot from Tom Nook and find the last villager of the stream. Yes, yeah, Celeste and Blathers have the perfect dance vibes. I love them. Pico love, welcome in. Yeah, we have so many cute villagers. Like I just can't believe how lucky we've been. For those who are just now joining in, this is what our map looks like. This is Honeydew Island. We just started it um, last week. It's been exactly one week. Our starting villagers were Rod and Cat, And then we somehow got so lucky and found Sherb, Audie, and Pico. And then today we had Henry as our first campsite villager. And then we found Tia and Melba and now Maple. Maple? I just, I can't believe it. And now, who else will we find? Who will be the last villager to conclude the Honeydew Villager lineup? I don't know. I'm hoping that it's Raymond, but I'm not sure. I just clicked the wrong button, but I'm not sure if we're going to really find Raymond. I just don't see it happening. I just don't see it happening. Oh, Tom, I, I did not mean to initiate all of this dialogue. We're going to check the island rating at the end of the stream. Because we might, we might be at three stars already, and I just, I have no idea. Harvey scared you. <laughs> I need to breathe. The hype was so real, Lisa. The hype was so real. It really was. This, I <laughs> this island is half normal villagers, so I hope it's Raymond. Is it really? Is it really half normal villagers? Okay, I don't think that I bought I don't I don't have enough money to buy a housing plot. So let me get some money out of the ATM. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I would I don't know if I would swap out my starter villagers. I feel like I want to keep them on the island. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think that we should keep the starter villagers? Hello Saffron, welcome back. Great to see you again. I did not realize that we had so many normal villagers. It's okay, though. 
All right, let's get out some money. We'll get out 63,000 bells. Chanel, welcome in. Yes. We're back and better than ever. We're having the best Animal Crossing time, honestly. So I'm glad that you were able to join us. We're about to buy the last housing plot and go on our last villager hunt. Yes, Tom, please just sell me the land. Okay, let's go. We got our last plot. How exciting. Oh, maybe we should have a poll if I should keep or get rid of these starting villagers that we have. Yeah, maybe I'll keep them for now and then maybe later we can have a poll. Oh, Chanel, what perfect timing. I feel like the Animal Crossing nostalgia is just like in the air lately because I think a lot of people are feeling nostalgia for this game at the moment. Oh my gosh, guys, look at Tia. She's finally here on the island and she's so cute. Oh, so, so wholesome. I didn't know that she wore a maid dress. I, I had no idea. Oh yeah, by the way, just ignore all of these flowers on my island. They're super cute though. They're for the spring core vibes. All right, let's place this final plot. Let's place the final plot and let's see. So we have about 58 Nook Mile tickets left. And we started with 100, so if anyone wants to do the math, that's how many tickets we've used up so far. I feel like we've done really good with only 100 tickets to start with. Like, we've have already found three amazing villagers, and now we're about to go find another. Okay, I'm trapped. I'm trapped by all of the clutter. All right, let's, let's go. I mean, we found Melba in one ticket, so maybe we can find another good villager in one ticket. Yeah, I can always decide later. You're right, Lisa. Yeah, maybe it is like the March vibes that are bringing back all the Animal Crossing nostalgia. The fourth anniversary of the game is right around the corner. I think it's gonna happen on Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday is the fourth New Horizons anniversary. The fourth birthday? I cannot believe that it's been four years. How does time work? What is time? What is time? All right, let's go. I'm so excited to see who's gonna be here waiting on our first island. This is villager hunt number three. Ticket number one. Let's go. Everybody send good vibes. All the good vibes, all the good energy. Let's see who it is. Where are they? <gasps> oh my gosh, who, who was looking for bones? Someone in the chat was looking for bones. Oh, we found him. Oh man, he is really cute. He is really cute. He is so cute. He looks like he's wearing like a little Patagonia, like fancy sweatshirt. You guys know which ones I'm talking about? Oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's gonna be really hard to leave behind. Should I do a poll? Should I do a poll? Because I feel like this is a really good villager. But I don't know. I feel like we could also possibly do better. I'll do a poll. Let me consider your opinions. I feel like he could be really cute on a spring core island, but at the same time, could we do better? Look at how cute he is. Don't let his cuteness, don't let his cuteness win you over. 
This island has so much nature. Every place you look is nature. It's real neat. That is a really cute thing to say. He feels so 2020. He does kind of have like the 2020 energy. Hello, Valencia. How are you? We're trying to decide if Bones should be the last villager that we invite to my island. Oh my gosh. I know Kira. I know Kira. It's like my entire stream has just been a bingo for Kira's villagers. He could be a little librarian since his house is a mini library? I had no idea. I had no idea. If you're in the chat, y'all, if you're in the stream, vote in the poll. We only have 63 votes and there's, I think, 170-ish of you watching. So you better vote in the poll. Oh my gosh. Did I invite him? Did I just invite him? Did I just invite him? <laughs> Did I just invite him anyways? <laughs> um, I don't know if I did or not. I don't know if I did or not. <laughs> if I did, I'm not mad, but... Did I reject him? He's not saying anything about moving to the island. Oh, okay, okay, now... Now he's asking. <laughs> now he's asking. Oh, the real decision. I think I'm gonna say yes. Because he's just so cute. He's so cute. Okay, we're gonna invite him. We're going to invite him. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's just so cute. How can I say no? I'll be waiting for you, Bones. How could I say no? How could I say no to him? I mean, seriously, he's just so cute. He's just so cute. And he is giving 2020 vibes. Him, Maple, Melba, and Tia all kind of match. I know, they all like give a great little vibe all together. It's, it's perfect. And if you guys haven't been here, we're doing spring core for the island theme, so I feel like Bones would be really, really cute. And 69% of you said yes, so... Your island is destined for cuteness. Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, all of our villagers... All of our villagers are so, so cute. I'm gonna time travel so that we can get all of the villagers on the island and we can see all of them together. Oh my gosh, what a successful villager hunting stream. I don't know if you all realize, but we just got five new villagers in one stream. That has to be a new record. That's half of the island in one stream. It's amazing. I'm impressed. I am so impressed. While we're on the loading screen, I opened our new community Discord server. If you haven't joined yet, you should totally join because we're always hanging out, having a good time, and I'm going to be posting some really fun stuff as well as behind the scenes content. So you should totally join. And there's also a channel on our Discord server for dream addresses. And some of you guys have been putting your dream addresses. Some of my old islands are on there as well. It's a really fun little place, and you should join and add your dream address so we can all visit your island. I know, right, Lisa? I can't believe that we found this many villagers in two hours. Like, how the luck. And, okay, what really gets me is Maple. I think Maple is the star of the show. I think she's going to be my favorite villager on this island. I still cannot believe that we found her. I'm so happy. I am so happy. Oh, these loading screens, they take so long. Y'all, today has truly been so, so hype. We had a Wii Sports dance party. We crushed our monthly membership goal. We had to start a new one. Oh no, it's bunny day on my island. I don't think it's bunny day, but it's bunny day season. I cannot handle zipper right now. But Maple, Maple has moved on to our island. Amazing. 
so amazing. Oh, Kim, thanks so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great rest of your weekend and a great week. Oh, it's raining on the island today. Let's check our mail. Mail time. I just, I love getting mail. I love getting mail. Let's open it up. I can't believe, I cannot believe that we found all of these cute villagers in two hours with less than 100 tickets. Like, how does that even, how does that even happen? And y'all, look at Maple's house. It is so cute. It's exactly like Fauna's house. Oh my gosh, how adorable. Okay, let's time travel one more time. No. Y'all, look in the background. Look in the background. That is so scary. If you see what I'm seeing in the background, you should like the stream and subscribe. Or else, Zipper will, <laughs> will come. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's time travel. And we're going to get our last villager to move in, Bones. And then we'll have all 10 villagers on Honeydew. We can check our island rating. We'll see if we have three stars. I would not be surprised if we had three stars. Because we have so many fencing, number one. We have so many flowers. I don't think I have that many dropped items on the ground. And I also have all 10 villagers. I have a bridge. I have two bridges, actually. And I have so many pieces of furniture on my island. So... I feel like there's a good chance that we may or may not have three stars already, and that would be incredible. <laughs> Zipper, yeah, Zipper is such a jump scare. An actual horror. The nightmare fuel. <laughs> he is a sleep paralysis demon. Lindsay, hello, how are you? Welcome in. Chanel, you think that we've got the three stars? I hope so. We're about to see. We're about to see. I think that I'm going to do this island in April, but I don't know if I should have like, if I should build the island during cherry blossom season and have cherry blossom trees. I feel like that's super spring core and like honeydew is giving me like pink, yellow, and green vibes. So I definitely want to do yellow and green. I mean, obviously it's spring core. I feel like those are the two spring core colors, but maybe it would be fun to incorporate pink. I have pink hair, Rocket is pink, <laughs> and I feel like pink is like spring vibes. Welcome to Bones, Bones has moved in. It's amazing. We've got so many great villagers, like Honeydew Island is going so well and it's only been a week. It's only been a week. All right, let's check our mail. Check our mail very quickly. Valencia, thank you so much for the super chat. We love Animal Crossing, yes. Give it up for the 2020 Animal Crossing nostalgia. <laughs> thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it so much. We'll do some dancing Celeste and Blathers for you. Some hype. Some hype in the chat, please. We'll do Tangy too. Yes. Tangy vibes <laughs> for Valencia. Thank you again. So cute. All right. So all of our villagers are moved in. That means that they're all on the map. And y'all, I cannot even believe how cute our villagers are. Look at this. This is an insane villager lineup. Are you joking me? Like, this is amazing. We have Bones, Maple, Melba, Tia, and Henry that we just found in today's stream. And then we also have Pico, Audi, Sherb, and then our two starter villagers, Rod and Cat. Like, these villagers are such a vibe. Such a vibe. It's perfect for spring core. I'm so excited. And if you have missed the announcement, we're doing spring core for the island theme. I've already started downloading designs and like, look at how cute this is. We're going to build a little tea shop for Tia, and I really want to do a bookstore and a little hat shop. I mean, come on, it's going to be so cute. So be sure to subscribe and like the stream so that you can stick around and see how this island shapes up. All right, so before we wrap up the stream, we're going to go check our island rating and see if we have a three-star island yet or not. 
I'm really excited. This island is blessed. Thank you. It's blessed by your presence, Lindsay. All right, Isabel. Let's hear it. Let's hear what the people think. Do we have a three-star island or not? Will your island be spring core? Yeah, it's going to be spring core. And then there's going to be some elements of nostalgia core, like norm core. All right, let's talk about the island evals. The island evaluations. Oh, a bed and breakfast with a book nook would be so adorable, Brina. I love that idea. I love that idea. I, I don't know, because like we were talking about earlier, every time that I start doing an island, I feel like it always just ends up having some sort of cottagecore aesthetic to it, so... But I feel like spring core and cottage core can go well together. All right, let's see if we have three stars. I'm, I'm honestly nervous. I feel like we totally could, but then I also feel like Isabel could be like, no. <gasps> Stop! Stop! We already have four stars. Uh, this island is blessed. This island, the honey do for real slay though. Exactly. Oh my guys. Like, how? How? <laughs> how? How do we already have four stars? Have you seen this island? This island is literally a disaster. It's literally a wreck. It is so messy. Honeydew man, hearing about how chill it is. If I'd go if I had the chance. Uh, excuse me? I guess it is really chill. It is really, really chill. <laughs> And KK Slider is going to be coming now. So we're already at three stars. Uh, by the next stream, I'm definitely going to unlock terraforming. And hopefully next stream, we'll be able to have our first build stream, which I'm really excited for. We're going to be building Honeydew's Island entrance. So again, be sure to subscribe if you want to stay tuned. Stay up to date with Honeydew Island and see what happens. See how the builds turn out. Oh, this is amazing. What a great end to today's stream. Are we going to get to see the KK Slider concert? I think that's going to be... I think that's going to be not right now. But KK Slider is coming, so this is amazing. What a vibe. What a vibe. We're, we're gonna be five stars the next time you watch. That would be crazy. Tom Nook is definitely on Stan Twitter. I agree. Tina, I got all my items at Treasure Islands. We should all watch KK Slider together for this monumental moment, honestly. Honestly. I think we should. We finally turned our goal into a reality. We'll spread news of the concert via our island broadcast system. Okay. So now we need to time travel again, right? And then will KK Slider be here? I, I would love to end the stream with a KK Slider concert. I feel like that would be epic. I feel like that would be epic. Look how cute Audie is. Her little, her little rain suit. That's so cute. That's so cute. Okay, let's time travel. Let's time travel. How many times have we time traveled during today's stream? I feel like we've done a lot of time traveling. We started on March 20th, so that was the, the starting date for today's stream. And we are now going to March 26th. So it's been a while. It's been six days. We've done six days and two hours. <laughs> oh, yes. Maple. Without Maple. Just, Maple brought all the good vibes to today's stream. <laughs> Enough times. Yeah, exactly. Best way to end with the KK Slider concert? I think so. I think so. Oh, Lindsay, it's going to make me cry too. Like, honestly, the nostalgia. It, it's going to be crazy. By the way, while we're on the loading screen... Oh, the loading screen's over. But anyways, 
We're still gonna say it. <laughs> you should join the Discord server if you haven't already. Sorry I keep pushing it during today's stream, but I would love to have you guys there so we can hang out together. Plus, I just really want you guys to join so you can upload your dream addresses so we can all visit each other's islands. It's, it's so cute. It's such a fun time. Such a fun time. Okay, will KK Cider perform his concert today or am I gonna have to time travel even more? Let's see. Let's see. Today I have one very special announcement. The incredible, amazing musician KK Slider is here visiting Honeydew. Not only that, but Mr. Slider has graciously agreed to put on a special concert for everyone on the island. Oh, this is gonna be so cute. Stand by for a direct feed from the concert venue. I hope you all enjoy the show. Oh my, here we go, everyone. The nostalgic KK Slider concert. I'll even turn up my switch volume just a little bit. Just a little tad so that we can really embrace the KK Slider concert. Hey, Honeydew, it's real groovy being here today. Feels like the stream I once had when I was just a scruffy pup with a shoebox guitar. I was dreaming of hitting out on my own, wondering wherever my road would take me. Dreaming of finding a magical place where cool cats like you would come together to see a stray like me. Y'all, this is so... This is so wholesome. <laughs> This is so nostalgic. Look at all my villagers. They're so cute together. Y'all, we successfully found the last five villagers for the island today, and I could not be more proud. Look at all of them together. Oh, this is this is so sad and wholesome. The nostalgia. Y'all. <laughs> Did KK Slider admit to being a crusty dog? Maybe. This is so wholesome. All KK Slider fans, please rise. Look at all of my villagers. Look at Maple and the cherry blossoms. Look at Bones, he is vibing. Oh my gosh, y'all, it has been four years since this game came out. I'm not crying, you are. <laughs> Go off, KK. Oh my gosh, what good memories have we made with this game together? Over the past four years, some of you have been here for that long. I remember. I remember you. Thank you for being a part of my Animal Crossing journey. <laughs> I'm not crying, you are. Oh my gosh, what a wholesome end to today's stream. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out as we found the last five villagers for my island. Like, are you joking? We had so much good luck today. We got all of the vibes going. We got so many good villagers. We may have not found Raymond, but, but we did good. We did good. If you enjoyed the stream, be sure to like and subscribe. We'll be live again on Thursday at 4 p.m. Central Time. So keep an eye out for the stream whenever it's posted so you can set your reminders and get notified. Or you can just hit the bell button right now and turn on notifications for my channel. I would appreciate it so much. My eyes are cosplaying as a waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ella, welcome. We're, we're ending the stream, but I'm, I'm glad that you could at least witness the KK Slider concert. <laughs> oh my gosh. Epic end to an epic stream. Thank you so much, everyone. And again, thank you so much for crushing our monthly member goal. I appreciate it. I don't deserve you all. I, I love hanging out with you. I will see you next thursday thanks so much have a great rest of your week bye